Uh, Andrew from the Wall Street Journal. U.S. Embassy staff still haven't, some U.S. Embassy staff that are Afghan haven't been, able, haven't been able to make it into the airport as well. Why is the U.S. doing more to allow Afghans into the airport, to ensure access to the airport? And are you still opposed to setting up an extended perimeter around the airport to, to help ease that access? Number one, uh, I think you're going to see they're going to get out. Number two, we have made a number of changes, ex including extending access around the airport and the safe zone. And uh, we've done a number of things, again, I don't want to get into detail about. But uh, the fact is that more and more of the groups we urgently want to get out of Afghanistan, starting with American citizens and the folks who worked in the embassies and personnel with our allies, as well as the Afghans who helped them and worked in those embassies, as well as those who helped them on the battlefield as well. We are working diligently to make sure we've increased the ability to get them out. We've changed the gate operations and a whole range of things, and that's why we've been able to significantly increase the number of people and, we're getting out. And will the Taliban agree to an extension in the past? Obviously, first, we discussed that with them. We've discussed a lot with the Taliban. They've been cooperative in extending some of the perimeter. That remains to be seen whether we ask that question. Ed, fire away. I don't want you jumping over that. Thing. 